Hello, my name is Jenny Randolph. I am one of the advisors at Poplar Bluff High School. And so I am wanting to talk to you about the leadership class I have recently taken over this school year. So when the semester first started, I took my leadership class and let the kids divide up into their own groups by their choice. From there, they got to pick a project that they were passionate about. And so I put a couple options on the board, but they could pick anything that they wanted. So some students and some of the options that I gave were the show me what you got, show me what you love, show me you love me, show me you love me um, campaign that MASC has been supporting. Um, doing a recycling project because our school currently has no recycling options, um, student recognition, teacher recognition. So some more normal, but they're just extra and they take a lot of student work. And so these projects will be something that every Friday, our leadership class is devoted to working on those projects. If there's an assembly or some special event, we obviously have to pause and give that time for the event but then we go right back after the event to our normal schedule where Fridays were back on task. And so that schedule where every Friday they knew that was their day meant that I could walk in the room. If I was a few minutes late, needed to touch base with a counselor or the teacher next door, they were already on task and working hard. And it became something that they were very passionate about. So with these projects, um, a couple that have really fleshed out one student um, group was working on researching how to start a bank branch. And so we have been working with the finance director for our district, which is huge for me, just because that's much higher than my very lowly position of teacher. <laughs> and then the kids thought it was really cool because we were able to get this assistant superintendent in the room. and. We were talking to other schools and banks and what it was going to take. So the students first gave a presentation for that to even the superintendent. And what was fun about these projects were the students got to set their own goals and what the project should look like by the end of the semester. So about a month in after they'd kind of researched, dipped their toes into what it was going on in their projects, they actually set a SMART goal on an elementary style worksheet for it with what they I should expect and what I could grade them on at the end of the semester. They had to include what they should expect. So my school store group was going to have a presentation ready that was going to suggest and um, one type of electronic method of payment purchaser. So like Square, Clover, they were researching all these different types of credit card companies that they could run credit cards through. I don't really know what the term is off the top of my head right now. And so then they went and they presented that to the finance director as well. And whether she chose to follow through and with their choice and their suggestion, was not part of their grade, but their presentation, having the research that was thorough, um, and just taking that initiative is where a lot of their grade came in. From there, students had to figure out how to clean out the store, get that space ready. And so we had a bunch of different projects going on all at once. We had a total of six projects going on in one classroom at a time, and each one was a huge project. One group was doing an advisory curriculum bank branch, the school store. Um, we also had the Show Me You Love Me campaign, um, teacher recognition. There was only five. So apparently there was only five. But each of these groups were having to work very hard to make sure that their project was fleshed out by the end of the semester. By the end of their semester, after they've reached their SMART goal, we got to pause reflect as a group, reflect a small group. So they talked with me and then their personal group after presenting to the class what they did. And we talked about, okay, is this all you need to do? What would be our next step? And so for our school store group, we got to sit down and say, okay, we need to go further into this. We need to finish getting this ready. How soon can we get the store open? And so they actually set the date 
a month from the start of the second semester that they wanted the school store open. And so for our entire second semester, we've had the entire leadership class pitching in on Fridays, helping flesh out each other's projects. So our first one that we finished fleshing out was the school store, which opened on our homecoming day. And so from there, they got to really pull each other together and then they got to lead their class. So it started leading just research, knowing what they were doing, becoming confident in themselves, leading in a presenting style, showing that they knew what they were talking about, and then getting to lead their classmates. And from there, we've actually been able to show them off as leaders to the community, to other members of our council, as other members can now start working the school store during varsity games. And so we're hoping to see that kind of follow through with our other leadership projects. Um, we've started contacting other student councils to see what if anybody else has a school bank, because that group is ready to start really flushing things out. The Show Me You Love Me campaign has their first event for our school plan and is ready to jump in with that with our counseling center helping them. They're going to be doing a Hope Week where they highlight different mental illnesses and make sure everybody feels like they are not alone. Um, the student that has been doing teacher appreciation is teaming up with FTA or Future Teachers of America, and they are he is going to be working really hard to make sure that every teacher feels loved. And he already has the leadership class on board for helping him a couple Fridays to write every single teacher in the entire school, which we have 77 teachers, not including additional staff in our building. And everyone is getting a letter of appreciation and recognition. And then the last project that we're really trying to finish flushing out this year is our advisory curriculum. And that is all student led. And so we have one student who's she's got a goal and she just needs a little help finishing out and flushing those details. And so her classmates are going to be helping her over the next couple months finish that before the end of the school year. It's been really fun watching the kids not only adopt their little projects, become familiar with them, start caring and really becoming passionate, but now leading an entire class. And so now as they finish the class, they're getting to lead an entire school. Before I go, I do wanna show you a little bit about our school store, since that's the first leadership project that was fully fleshed out and let you experience a little bit of our school too. Welcome to our school store. So way back when they first built our new building, they decided to get let all of the staff name our school store and the room that they had set aside for what would eventually become our school store. And they titled it the stable because we are the mules. So some of our special features that the kids are really proud of is right here. We have a clothing display, just like a retail store. And what was only a $30 purchase meant the world to the students who put all the effort into this, per this product of a building. We also asked other clubs if they had any extra shirts they were just wanting to get rid of. And so we have our $5 rack, courtesy of our booster club. They didn't want any of these shirts. They were ready to clearance them out and they don't really do a clearance because they don't have anything other than a table at football games. So during basketball season, we get to have our new $5 rack. So one special feature of our school store is this side window, which when we first got in there, we were like, what are we ever going to do with this random window that people can see if we have trash in the back? But our entrepreneurship class has worked very closely with us and we were actually able to sell student made t-shirts. So the students designed these in school, made them in school, and now their class is actually getting some of the profit. We do have a contract and part of their leadership project was to write contracts when we did work with other groups. And so part of that contract is we get a $30 fee. And we discussed whether we wanted to do a percentage or a fee, but due to the fact that this class specifically was in school, they weren't really making a profit and all of their profit they do donate. So it's very non for profit. Um, we wanted to make sure that they got as much as possible, but we still benefit.